आर ऑल वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द पॉलीगन एंड इट्स डायगोनल इन ब्रीफ टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलीगन्स आर देयर लेट्स लुक एट दिस क्लोज्ड कर्व कैन यू टेल अबाउट इट्स इंटीरियर एंड एक्सटीरियर perfect the area inside the curve is the interior and the area outside is called the exterior we have some polygons here can you categorize them into two different groups based on their properties let's try We know that a polygon is made up of sides, vertices and angles. Because all these polygons, they will have the same properties. So on what basis can we separate them now? Let's make their diagonals. So what do you see here now? You can see that the diagonals of some polygons are confined to in their interior and there are some polygons whose diagonals or some part of the diagonals are in the exterior. So in this way we can categorize these polygons into two different groups. These groups can be named convex and concave according to the position of the diagonals. But if we look at this triangle there is no diagonal now how to determine whether a triangle is a convex polygon or a concave polygon To understand this let's have a look at these polygons once again If we take any two random points in the interior of these polygons and connect them So you can see that all such line segments in convex polygons are completely located in the interior of the polygon. On the other hand, this is not the case with concave polygons. Similarly, the line segments connecting any random points in the interior of the triangle are perfectly located in the interior of the triangle. Hence, triangle is a convex polygon. So we can say that polygons whose diagonal or line segments join any two random points in the interior of the polygon are completely confined in the interior of the polygon are called convex polygons and the polygons whose diagonal or some part of the diagonal or the line segments joining any two points in the interior of the polygon are not completely confined to the interior of the polygon are called concave polygons let us now see some more polygons what are your comments on these polygons perfect these are called convex polygons now if we notice we will see that all the sides of these polygons are equal and also all the angles are of equal measure Therefore polygons that are equilateral that is or all sides are equal and equiangular that is or equal measure of all angles are called regular polygons on the other hand polygons in which the measurement of any one side or angle is different from the rest of the sides or angles are called irregular polygons In this way today we have learned how many types of polygons are there